Former President Donald Trump will be in Grand Rapids today. He's expected to speak at DeVos Place Convention Center at 2.30. And that is where we find political reporter Rick Elbin today. Rick? Susan, this is going to be a much different event for Donald Trump than we would normally see. We're used to seeing those big rallies, thousands of people filling the Van Andel Arena and elsewhere in West Michigan and all around the state. But this is going to be a very focused event. Thinking back to the death of Ruby Garcia, murdered, we are told, by police and ICE agents by a person who was in this country illegally. And we expect the president to focus on immigration. It's a subject that he has talked about since he first came down that escalator in 2015 at Trump Tower. The former president talked about it then, he talked about it during his time in office, and he certainly talked about it since. We've also seen polling numbers that indicate people in the United States are more concerned about illegal immigration. But there are two very different distinctions, because there are groups in the business world, agriculture, and elsewhere that will talk about how important legal immigration is to continue to find more people to come to the country who can fill jobs, who can start new businesses. That contrasted with those who come here without the proper documentation and through the proper channels. And so those two different groups will be somewhat highlighted as we do our coverage, making a bit of a distinction about all those groups uh, that kind of get lumped together sometimes. So what we want to do is make sure that during our coverage, we make that distinction. We will hear what the former president has to say. He'll be talking here uh, to a group of people. There are a few chairs set up. But there again, this is a very different event than we have ever seen uh, from former President Trump. We're used to those really big events. We'll have another one of those tonight, by the way, uh, in Green Bay. But here today, we expect him to talk about a single issue, and that will be immigration and we'll have all of that information for you and of course reaction as we go throughout the day live in downtown grand rapids rick alban news 8. okay rick thank you for the live report we will cover all of the angles for you all day long and tell you about former president trump's visit to grand rapids now as he plans to discuss president biden's immigration policies a group will hold an event down at rosa park circle it'll happen in less than an hour Movimiento Cosecha GR is asking for people to come together and unite to advocate for immigrant rights. In a press release, the group said what happened to Rudy Garcia, quote, does Ruby Garcia, quote, does not reflect the true spirit of the thousands of immigrants in Michigan or the millions across the United States, end quote. Now that rally is expected to start at one o'clock. Ahead of the rally today, a group of Democrats held a virtual news conference addressing the former president's visit, and among them were Senator Debbie Stabenow and Senate Majority Leader Winnie Brinks, who is from Grand Rapids. As Trump goes, so go Michigan Republicans. From claiming a bus carrying Gonzaga's men's basketball team was an invasion of immigrants, to callously invoking Hiroshima and Nagasaki when talking about Gaza, to trying to make the death of Ruby Garcia about immigration and fear instead of domestic violence. Donald Trump is always about division instead of unity. Brinks also added that members of the Democratic Party have been in touch with Ruby Garcia's family, and they say her family has requested privacy at this time.